Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mommy Trainee. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas holiday season and um, at the time of my filming, New Year's is here and, or almost here. Uh, so I wish that you guys will be having a very good and safe New Year's Eve and New Year. Uh, and hopefully 2019 it's going to be even better than 2018. So today I have a Trader Joe's uh, grocery haul for you. Uh, we I haven't been shopping at Trader Joe's for quite a few weeks because you know holiday season things are getting a little slower uh, and heading into especially the first week of you know new year um there's not a lot of the normal stuff that i would be getting uh so i have here about like 90 something dollars just shy of a hundred dollars worth of grocery so let's see what we have today all right so let's get started from here first um on this side we have two of these french brioche bread and uh, we haven't um had to get this for a while because the last batch when we had two of these two loaves of these um we actually made a very big batch of french toast stick so we've been kind of eating off of that for a while but that is also running low right now so that's why we are getting another two loaves doing the same thing and putting it into the freezer so that when uh, breakfast time comes or maybe sometimes weekday school day when the breakfast times comes and he want or sometimes mostly weekend too uh when my kid wanted some uh, french toast stick we could actually just take a few out and just microwave it for like 30 seconds to a minute and then he could have some french toast really really quick um here this is quite a new item um this is from uh mushroom and company but it's a multi-purpose umami seasoning blend uh i mean it looked quite interesting so I was like, okay, let's just give it a try. I actually kind of find it in the um, the new product section. So, I mean, I hope this is actually good. <laughs> All right, so put that here. And sun dry apricot. Uh, it's one of these three pack little. Uh, oops, oops, oopsie. Snacks uh, portion. So I was thinking uh, my son could probably try uh, having like one at like after school uh, snacks or like his, his when he is in uh, um, extended care, he could probably have some snack and this is a perfect size. Hopefully he likes it. I know that in the past I've given him some dried apricot. He doesn't really like it, but I kind of told him that, hey, you know, these are dry fruits. It's supposed to be good for you. And, uh, you know, at least it's fruit instead of just gummy. So that's that. Um, I've been drinking a lot of tea, like tea bags tea um i had one that uh i can't really buy anymore because it's uh it's been i think out of stock or i think maybe the company was out of business already it's a white tea and a tea bag and it's really really good and smooth uh, so now that i couldn't get that one i have to be hunting for uh some other tea bags uh and i see this, this is a green tea um and it's organic so let's see the this bag this box has 20 tea bags so hopefully this would uh be a pretty good replacement as long as it's smooth it has like tea flavor and it's smooth um i'm usually good with green tea so um we've been having a couple of nights where we were eating um burgers so we put cheese on it so our last batch of um american cheese slices uh, i got two last time i think it's almost all gone so i got another two to replace it uh oh normal stuff we need some half and half this is the normal ha normally this is the one that we like to get um and my husband's also out of his coconut water so when we see this king coconut water uh we decided to get two for him to try it out this week at work he usually try to drink one um every day at work and my son loves these like he loves this he basically eat one jar of this and whenever he wants fruit so these are the um peach halves and i do have to say <laughs> it's quite expensive if you just eat one in one sitting uh most people probably would split this into like three or four but my son would just keep on asking for more after he started eating it so we got four bottles of these um and then again we are out of the um 
pickles uh, that we got last time. So we got another one. This is actually quite sweet instead of, you know, tart and sour. Uh, so my son loves it. But even though uh, if it's not that sweet, he would still love pickle. Uh, the other day he was just asking me, is pickle vegetable? <laughs> when he was eating burgers, I'm like, yeah, it's vegetable. <laughs> Okay, um, I was actually looking for this for quite a while at my Trader Joe's and they always sold out. This is the Almond Knock. Um, and this is final. I finally have a chance to try it since uh, I think they came out in like around Thanksgiving time. And I have not seen this anywhere or any of the Trader Joe's that I've been going to. But now I got it. So I wanted to just give it a try, even though Christmas is past. Um, and again, this is one of my son's favorite ketchup. Uh, my son could just pretty much have ketchup on everything like eggs and obviously even like white rice. There was a period of time he would just eat white rice with this particular ketchup and he would be satisfied. Go figure. All right. And then here, um, I've been actually, I have been running out of my oatmeal, these, uh, this particular one and the, uh, the plain ones. So I kind of stock up on one of this oak and flex. Uh, instant oatmeal and then two of these plain instant oatmeal um, on days that I have to you know on days that uh, I am working having instant oatmeal is actually quite easy to get you know breakfast going uh, and then two sets of burger one is a turkey burger and the other one is a buffalo burger my son really likes this one and he's not really a big burger fan the other night well maybe because it's veggie uh we got a uh, veggie burgers from costco i think uh a little back a little while ago that's you know we put into the freezer it's actually quite a good veggie burgers and uh, like my husband likes meat but even he likes that and i obviously like it uh but my son just for some reason even if it tastes good to us he doesn't like that burger uh, he doesn't know that it's veggie burger, but he does just doesn't like it. But he is actually okay with eating either of these two. And he, when I was asking him, he specifically told me that he likes the buffalo burger. Now, there's only three of us in the household. Um, so this is a three pack, so it's perfectly fine. It contains three, did it say three here? Yeah, contains three blah, 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 patties. Um, this one has four. However, I do see that these are actually like regular thickness of um, buffalo burgers, whereas these are actually thinner. This you could actually cook from frozen. You just basically put it in a pan, you know, a few minutes aside, make sure everything's cooked. Uh, it's thinner so that you could actually just cook from frozen. These, the instruction uh, ask you to kind of thaw it out a little bit, but I think if you really needed to cook it in a jiffy, just put it in some, like run it down like some cold water, uh, a few minutes to kind of, you know, soften it up a little bit and you could still do it. Uh, but the last time when I was cooking this, I actually put it into the sous vide for, I think, like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I don't remember. Uh, but it came out good. But these are like really fast. You could just basically, from frozen, open it up, throw it onto uh, a saucepan uh, and fry it both sides. Make sure it's cooked and you're good to go. So for, for this, even though it's four, um, it just, you know, it's thin. So I feel like, you know, my, my husband could definitely eat two of these. Uh, and I usually only could eat one, my son eat ones, but at least when my son is eating these two type of burgers, he would actually finish the burger, which is, you know, to my surprise. So that goes to tell you how tasty these are. <laughs> okay, and then up front here, we have some frozen stuff that um, I just got it so that, you know, just in case if I don't want to cook or don't have time to cook uh, either lunch or dinner, I would have something on hand. Mostly uh, it's like carb stuff so that it's, even if you just eat it like this, it should be okay. So let's start here. And I have some sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. I've never tried this one before. I usually just have the um, cauliflower gnocchi. And let's see how this is. Sweet potato, I like it. I normally, when it comes to sweet potato, I don't really like the uh, the yellow kind, the yam kind, uh, or the orange kind. <laughs> uh, I actually like the one that has like the red skin. It's kind of like a red potato, but it's sweet potato. I like that one. But this is definitely from the, uh, the orange, the yam uh, type of sweet potato. So let's see how it is. And then um, I got two of these Japanese style fried rice. Um, I've had it uh, once. 
I ha I bought it once and I kind of like it because the uh, the rice itself it's not the jasmine rice that you normally would find in Chinese uh, fried rice or even the uh, chicken or vegetable fried rice that you normally get from uh, the frozen section in Trader Joe's. These are the sticky rice, like the Japanese rice, not sticky, like but Japanese rice, which is a little bit shorter grain, it's a little bit more chewy. So um, I like it. So I got two of these to replace the last one that I got. And then I got this chicken chow mein. I normally don't get these stuff. And I feel like usually when they have these type of chicken chow mein, it says low fat. I don't know how low it is. Um, but usually these things, um, they give you like a sauce pack, mix it up. And it will usually be too sweet. So I'm just getting one to try it out. Um, again, I think this is something that you could cook from frozen, just throw it into a pan, add something to it, and then cook. This actually just even microwaving it, it's fine. Uh, that I'm not too sure actually. <laughs> and then this is, I don't even know how to pronounce this actually. M Melod M Melodian? Melodians blend. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it has some green garbanzo beans, red and green lentils, which is supposedly very good for you, right? Um, with a touch of tomato and olive oil. So it's not exactly, you know, the regular, you know, bad carb. This one has lentil and it kind of looks a little healthy. So it could be my lunch someday. So that's that. That's our Trader Joe's haul that we do today. And we actually went pretty early to Trader Joe's today and it was so so empty non-stressful you could actually spend time looking at the stuff that you wanted to buy so i highly recommend going to trader joe's earlier in the morning um so that's that i hope you guys are going to have a wonderful new year and a wonderful 2019 and until then um i will see you guys in my next video probably it will be in 2019 bye guys <laughs>